This is Prowl 1701, and we're here to do a review of the Dominix in Guardian Blue. Now, this was my first Dominix. I actually got it before I got my two uh, Dominix that I used to form my Phantom Staff in Blazing Red. This was also my first Stunt Saber. I got it as a prize in the second summer raffle that Ultra Sabers held. And I got a second place prize, which at the time was a Saber without sound with lithium ion set up. Uh, I really like the Dominix. I'm very fond of it. It's probably my most comfortable hilt to use. I like it. I loved it so much, I ended up buying two more of them to make a staff out of. Uh, it's, it's nice. It's got these two choke points right here, which are great for gripping. Uh, it also has this nice, here's the standard switch. Uh, a lot of my sabers have the AV switch, but most stunt sabers come with a standard switch. And you'll notice the little button here is blue. That's very rare. Um, only grab bags and prize sabers really have these. Most of the time, if you get something like this, it's silver. Uh, my other two Dominic sabers that are in red are have a silver silver button. But this one's blue, and that's very rare. And I really like it because it goes with the blade color. I have it in a Guardian Blue. As you can see right here, Guardian Blue is my favorite blade color. I'm very fond of it. I have an Initiate in Guardian Blue with an Ultra Edge blade. And this one I have in a mid-grade blade, just so I could have one of each. And Guardian Blue, unlike some sabers, Saber colors looks good in both. Some Saber colors I prefer in Ultra Edge, some I prefer in mid-grade. This one I love in both. Uh, originally when I got it, it was in an Ultra Edge, but since I already have an Initiate in Ultra Edge Guardian Blue, I swapped this blade out with that on my Scorpion and put an Ultra Edge blade on my Scorpion and put the mid-grade on this one. And we're going to go over a few more details of it right here. Just a few things. Again, it's really comfortable. You can see right here, I always use the two choke points. I always have my, my right hand here, my left hand here. That's, I, I have a 32-inch blade on here. Most people use a 36-inch. That's the standard length for this for this saber, for the Dominix. I prefer a 32-inch. I'm about 5'6". I'm a smaller guy. It's just easier for me to wield that way. Again, just pressing the standard switch. We get the light on right here. It's really nice. It's very bright. You can't really tell it as much here with the... Uh, light on but it's actually quite bright it illuminates really well and again it doesn't have sound it's a stunt saber which I'm not as used to uh, most of mine has sound but this was my first stunt saber and I really grew to love it because I practice differently with a stunt saber than I do with a sound saber I've noticed uh, I tend to swing faster and harder and it's, it's just a totally different workout I really enjoy it I like both sound sabers and stunt sabers um, Again, mid-grade blade, which I like with it. And the batteries are really easy to use. You just take the pommel here, unscrew it, it comes right out. You can actually put different kinds of pommels on here. Just barely shake a little bit and pull this out. And this is about as far as you need to pull that out. Any further, you risk damaging the wires because they're connected to it. Take this little Velcro, Velcro strip off. It's only there to keep the sabers from rattling around, so it gives it a little cushioning so that, excuse me, the batteries don't rattle around in the saber. Just take that off, and usually these batteries, you can pop them right out with your fingers. Um, I do have a couple sabers. They clamp in there kind of tight. If that happens, just get a flathead screwdriver and barely put it in there, and you can pry them out really easy. Put some new ones in. Slides right back into place. Just screw that back in, and you're good to go. Also, uh, if you're getting the lithium ion set up, make sure you order it with a charger because you will need a charger for that. They're rechargeable batteries. Um, pretty standard. Uh, again, I'm a big fan of the Dominix. This was a free prize saber I won from Ultra Sabers, and it's the one that got me really liking the Dominix to the point to where I ordered two more of them. I have three sabers now. Two in Blazing Red, which I used for my staff, and this one in Guardian Blue, which is my favorite blade color. Um, that's really about it. Pretty simple stuff. It's uh, it's bright. I like it. Uh, I'd give it, I'd say I'd give it a 97 out of 100. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Give you kind of a look at it here. And honestly, I think it's normally a little brighter. I think the batteries have been in it for a minute. It's normally even a little brighter than this, as you can see. I'd give this one a 97 out of 100. I like my red ones a little better. My red Dominus is just because it strikes me as a Sith Saber. But I'm also very fond of this one. It makes it's a good opposite for the others since it has the blue blade. Um, so I'll give it a 97 out of 100. And this is Pro 1701. And thank you for watching.